Hi, uh, my name is Brian Santich. I'm a senior director of research at YMAPS Therapeutics. And we have uh, an abstract at ASCO this year uh, describing our GD2 sodom molecule, which is a molecule used for two-step radioimmunotherapy. Um, GD2 SADA uh, has three principal components, a tumor binding site against GD2, a uh, radioactive payload binding site, and then a tetramerization domain that mediates this self-assembly and disassembly function, or this SADA function. Uh, GD2 SADA is used for two-step radioimmunotherapy. In the first step, the non-radioactive protein is administered in an infusion followed by uh, a second infusion with the radioactive payload, usually lutetium dota. In this abstract, um, we use preclinical pre data to describe these three principal components and, um, and then share some proof of concept data in mice. So uh, first we show that uh, GD2 SADA binds to multiple GD2 positive tumor types, including osteosarcoma and small cell lung cancer. We also show that this binding is highly dependent on this tetramerization domain, the SADA domain, and without it, uh, the binding is compromised uh, dra drastic or sorry, drastically. Uh, and then third, we show that GD2 SADA has very high selectivity for metals in the radioactive payload that come from a family of metals called the lanthanide series, which includes lutetium, lanthanum, and terbium. Uh, and it also happens to not bind uh, radio the payload when it has trace metals or doesn't have any metal at all. And this is important because in the formulations of our lutetium dota for infusion, we have, uh, th there is trace metal presence and empty payload present. And this data would suggest that the presence of these other components would not impact uptake of the radioactive component at the tumor site. And then finally, we show proof of concept data that all of the, these three components together when used in a two-step pre-targeted radiomunotherapy um, setup is allowing uh, radiation to be delivered to a tumor in a dose-dependent way and show efficacy in mice. In summary, uh, GD2 SADA uh, as a two-step radiomunotherapy uh, should, might be able to overcome many of the challenges faced in radiomunotherapy, and we have already begun clinical development for GD2 SADA. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onkadaily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.